shows up here on the Twitch page. Well, it should be fine. So, hello everybody. Uh, this is uh, Antti Törmene and Daniel Hu. And uh, we are doing a done player teaching game and review for the London Go Center. So, here we see the finished position, but let's start from the origin. Yeah, in the middle game I thought I was in trouble because the center was really thick for you. So I was trying to keep it complicated uh, as possible. Uh, looking from this uh, board position here right now, we can see that there's a kind of a ponmuki shape in the center of the board. There's five black stones have been captured there. So that's going to be one focus of our review. And there's many small interesting things, like in the lower right corner we have a go. It's a one-move approach go in that case. So this is... Uh, Teaching game Japanese style, so we have no komi, and the amateur side is black. I actually did a little bit uh, of groundwork on you, because I saw your Grand Prix games in, in January, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I also checked your uh, Corona Master League, so I was trying to avoid too complicated fighting. Yeah, right, so I was trying to keep the game as simple as possible over here. Right. Yes, or at least avoid fighting, because <laughs> <laughs> reading is one of my weaker points, so to say. If I can give the game simple, then I can control it. This was similar to Stanislav, my game against Stanislav. Oh, really? Well, somewhat. Oscar mentioned that uh, Stanislav had one of the better games against you in that tournament, so... Yeah, yeah. he destroyed me several times. He, it seems he just basically played territorially in, in that game, right? Didn't go for difficult fighting and kept, kept it simple. Yeah. 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 Okay, so basically I guess uh, since this is a done player teaching game, up to this point the game is totally normal here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some people might possibly have a small problem in deciding whether to play A, whether to play B, which side is better. How yeah, do you decide it's here? Similar. It's similar. It's a similar thing. Oh, yeah. I should choose to get another game. But I wasn't sure if my double honey was correct either. But I thought you had low stones on both sides. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, my thinking here as well. So white has the surrounding C and D stones, which are both kind of uh, stable and strong already. So, and also, once this corner gets played, the next move doesn't seem quite so important anymore, right? I mean, there's maybe R14, there's maybe K16 or something like that, but this is the last empty corner. So actually, if possible, you want to take Gote here and let the opponent choose first, because you are not in a hurry to go anywhere. Personally, I think uh, this side is probably a bit better than the other one, because... Uh, I thought you might be a two space extension, or, or I thought you might play on the left side somehow. Not sure where. Ah, like immediately. Yeah, I was also thinking about... Think that, that if the fight starts, you, you reduce one by lower left naturally. Yeah, influence. I just figured that because this is the side and the upper right corner might still be... Uh, there's also a play over there. But uh, yeah. they both seem interesting for sure. So anyway, anyway, for black, this side should be more interesting because black can still later in the game play this one. And because of the A stone, it's possible to attack the B stone later, right? But it was... well, like... They say don't make territory with the lower left Giuseppe. Um, that is also a good point, so it, it depends a lot on what will happen later, right? Mm -hmm. But I just mean that uh, compared with this one, if you choose this direction... Uh... I thought that you might pressure me here uh, at d6. Yeah, that's even possible as uh, well. Four. But anyway, the point should be here that you're kind of killing your own stone at a. Because even if it escapes now, the B group is going to be strong. Yeah. Possibly even White will play something like this here and uh, capture it immediately. Well, there might be something in the corner, but uh, take hold of it anyway. Okay, but because this is the dumb player lecture, we don't have to spend too much time here. So, AI shoulder hits, you just escape. I guess the normal move here is going to be B60, right? If White were to play. Mm, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, you kind of see this often. F15 and pins on the left. That's ah, that's where, that was your idea. Yeah, I would have to cut this one for sure. So, 
I don't know. This, I don't know this variation at all. Uh, maybe, maybe not Atari. No, maybe extend. I'm not sure. I, I don't know this, but I I've seen this in programs. Yeah, it seems to kind of come up often, and the white P sixteen is kind of a standard move by now. Yeah. I was actually expecting that you would pinch her here immediately. I wasn't sure what I should do here. Yeah. If I run it out... It looks a lot like the old-fashioned Giuseppe, um, where I play the Kazumi. Um, this is a Kazumi. I mean like a 3-4 stone and... Uh... Except that your uh, E16 stone is normally a F16. Would be around there. Oh yeah, that kind of a classic Joseki existed as well. And then like yeah. a counter pincer and jump out and so on. A bit mm. different. But yeah, personally I didn't really like this because uh, black jumps into the white upper side. And uh, I was going to use these two stones here to build some influence and we run right into it. Yeah. So my reading here actually was that I wanted to play this one. Mm. And then I wanted to tap. And then I realized that you can possibly attach here, and this could be a problem. Oh, wow. That's... I, I'm not sure this works for that, does it? I'm not quite sure, but this seems like a problem for white as well. And mm. uh, this one I cannot cut, so I, I wasn't quite sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe. If black didn't have that move on, if this was the only thing black could do, then this is of course uh, perfect for white. Or also, if black has to run this way, then it's more like a fighting game, because white got the key point here. Yeah. But uh, I couldn't read it out, so I just left it. Mm -hmm. So then you get the easy move, I'll play the center here, and I guess that's normal. I was also considering K17. Ah, uh, here is black. Mm. It seems possible, but uh, from White's point of view, I'm more annoyed by the fact that you didn't play there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because uh, at least this way I can kind of think that, okay, A, B was a nice exchange, I made my group strong, I can play elsewhere, right? Maybe I can play on the right side mm. now. Yeah, Because uh, that. Yeah, the upper side is not so busy anymore. Whereas this way you go to the big right side first, and what is white's move on the upper side? I'm not quite sure. N17? Or, 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 I don't know, L17? Not sure. There's this... L17 kind of thing. Right? Yeah, because this one doesn't really make use of use of the two white stones over here. It feels weird. And uh, With your support, when you block an N17 and a wedge, you could connect in the center maybe? Not sure. Yeah, something like this. And then what's going to happen with this kind of invasion? It's kind of messy. White wants to go down, but uh, this is kind of a... Uh, this one escape immediately. Mm, what corners then? Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, most likely if it was me, I would like to play something like uh, maybe Hane. Try to get a good shape over here and sacrifice the center stone. Okay. Because this way I could get uh, possibly A later on in the corner. But the center is also very big, so uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so Black invested in the right side, and I didn't see anything too much important. I didn't like N17, so I just went directly in. I, I saw you this a bit. Oh, the sign is not playing this against me. Really? It was the same in that game? <laughs> Um, yeah, the S7, then I got a very bad result. I went down to 4% off that. Oh. So I played R8 directly. And the AI said I should have either played the game sequence or mm -hmm. I should have gone down directly at S5. Oh, uh, that could have been possible as well. I just wondered that this way it seems uh, white can probably live quite easily. Yeah. Uh, this way, what do you do next? I wasn't going to push, um, maybe Q10. So I guess white extends... 
Oh, well. Lock, yes. Mm, this is going to get messy. I guess I should jump out. Or should yeah, I just I try to make people, life instead? I guess jump. Oh, but uh, just jumping uh, as well. Peace. Oh, um. oh, but maybe this is not alive either. <laughs> I, I guess jumping is easier, yeah. We have to go peace there then? I'm not sure. I remember the AI variation was something ran playing on the bottom at this point, but it was a bit of a different shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but usually you want to play something like uh, this kind of a forcing yeah, move here it. to check. Uh, yeah. to try to make use of N3. So yeah, S5 would be a difficult fighting game for sure. In the game we get something more like a fair exchange, I guess. White gets a nice corner shape, and later on this is going to be, well, some kind mm -hmm. of a white center end game. But first of all, <laughs> since you made the right side so strong, I went to play that one. I wasn't sure if I should just block it out or I was mm -hmm. expecting that, since I would push up and... But then, your shape seems good, ish. It's kind of connecting yeah, to the M14 yeah. stone, so I would be happy this way, yeah. Mm. So, well, in the game it I makes sense that you block here, since uh, you were looking at the A in invasion later, right? So you're actually attacking the white stones on the upper side. And I was also thinking, if you have a push at Q15, I don't, I'm not going to block. I can play something like O15, maybe. Sorry? Instead of what? If you have a push at around Q15, I can play O15. To, to attack your shape on that. Around Q15. You, you mean later or instead uh, of. If you say play Q15 now, then, uh, then I can play something like O15 maybe. O15. Yeah, it seems possible as well. So it's a kind of a busy situation there for white. Uh, so you were also looking to kind of uh, combine those, those two fights, kind of. I see, I was I see. hoping that since I played solidly at R8, it wouldn't be so easy to do, or at least it would be making use of my thickness. Mm -hmm. Well, you could have tried to fight a Ko, I guess, if you just <laughs> go for the Atari immediately, but um, it's a little mm -hmm. bit risky for Black as well, right? First of all, it seems like uh, White has core threats here, and secondly... Well, this one might not be. I guess it is. I don't know. It's still basically connected. Yeah, this so. could be kind of messy, yeah? So, anyway, the black situation of core threats is not very good in this game. And losing the core yeah, is still okay. big because uh, the whole corner can go in as a result. Mm -hmm. well, on the other hand, Q14 looks a bit slow. It doesn't. It didn't seem to do anything. My move in the game. The hmm? so which one? My move in the game didn't seem to do anything. You did very constantly. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Huh? That's possible. Yeah. So possibly you should just play elsewhere in that case for the time being, yeah. since White also doesn't have anything very urgent right now. So yeah. try to generate cold threats and then. But I guess White is going to play this one immediately. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a tough call. It still might be better, because... People seem to seem unnecessary. Hmm. If you take the corner instead, then white is just going to go outside here, right? Hmm. Yeah, because now the central shape is getting a little bit too weak. <clears throat> too many cutting points all over. <laughs> I feel comfortable out the cutting point up if you can't even, or just, or, uh, yeah. Sorry, can you repeat? Mm. Oh, I was, I didn't think my shape was very good. Mm. Complicated situation here. Yeah. Most likely, at least, uh, just blocking here and, uh, well, cutting might be too much, but if you just take center, something like extension. It might be that this makes for the easier game, because at least you get sent in that case, so you didn't take a big loss. Mm -hmm. 
it, it, the game is a, it's a little bit more of an investment. Buy it more strongly, I thought. You might find more strongly by paying the honey in the center. And then... Ah, here? Yeah, and then aim at S14, sort of edgy. Ah, I see. Yeah, that could be possible. It's kind of a shape, nice shape on here as well, since, uh, well, if it's something I've cut, then I can aim for those kinds of key points here. Yeah, yeah so that's true. It could be something messy still. Alright, but let's go to the main part of the game. Yeah, so, white laid here. I guess you considered something like S11 here. You thought for a little bit. Yeah, S10. <laughs> S10. Uh, ah, S10 directly, yeah. yeah, okay. You're, you're easily alive with one move, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If white didn't have this move, then it would be different, right? <laughs> yeah. So black doesn't really have a choice but to connect, I figured. Yeah, then invasion time, so black wants to make use of the wall. And actually, it wasn't too easy to decide what to do here. I figured that mm -hmm. if I just do something in the center, you're kind of happy to play the attachment, right? Yeah, I was a bit worried you would fight back with J17. Yeah, if I could do that, but uh, <laughs> the reading is very complicated like this. You have a lot of stones there. So. Possibly if I have played the L14, it could be playable, but uh, it still looks kind of risky. Like Hane? Mm. Mm. Connect? What's going on? Eh? I guess white might just decide to take these, but then it's not too different from the game, eh? mm. There's some by Doji left. Yeah. Or possibly black could uh, go for some kind of a trade, is that possible? Oh, this is good, this is good. This one white basically has to extend, right? Yeah. So then they push out. Ah, uh, but then the question is if <laughs> white. Is... <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not that easy to kill. Not that easy, yeah. But uh, arguably, this was still the kind of game that I was trying to avoid with you, so. <laughs> I see. Well, that's the reason I played this one in the game, but uh, it's hard to say if it's the best move or not. Just trying to keep it, keep it simple. I was quite surprised by this. I, I wasn't really sure whether Q15 was empty. Uh, at the time I thought it might be, but now I think it's probably not. Mm, yeah, the timing is difficult for that. I was more like, a, I was uh, immediately going for A, even if you connected. Uh, that was almost the only reason I played this one. Uh. So if you were co going to connect, I was still going to play here. Because it kind of uh, connects nicely to both of the moves. A pulls mm -hmm. out, and, well, B might not be played immediately, but uh, it could kind of combine to some kind of central position, I figured. Yeah. Well, it's still hard to say if it's a good move or not, but I kind of felt like if I just play in the center, it kind of feels like I'm just giving you a target, right? I thought you were still going to play like this anyway, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might be better. <laughs> Like, uh, objectively speaking, but uh, I just didn't like the idea. I didn't feel like uh, my kind of game. So I went to <laughs> keep kind of a more uh, active stance. Then you fought back and we got the exchange here. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't read what was going on here. Like, I uh, did sort of see what might happen in the game, but well, I don't know. Yeah, it's not an exactly a clean capture, but uh, I thought it would be very good for you if you just let this one move here. Yeah, in hindsight, that looks good. Since uh, if white answers, then it basically means that you're uh, connected already, right? That's yeah. simple. So I think white actually cannot answer this one. White has to... Is it... Which one is it? Well, maybe it's, the, it's still this one. Mm -hmm. Or not? Possibly here. So then the right side can still become black territory later. So that would have been a kind of... A, Probably it's the right move here for the shape. And my shape, my next move that didn't uh, seem to make that much sense. It didn't seem to do anything in particular. Well, you were building the center though. I mean, you're looking at a move like a K13 or K12 maybe. 
Maybe I should have taken that directly then. Uh, probably that makes more sense, yeah. It did seem quite painful when you play it. Mm. Since it's technically possible that these three stones might come under attack, right? Like, uh... Yeah, and also it ended up unconcentrated with my shape on the right as well. Mm. Something like this kind of a cutting scenario might be possible in the game, so it makes sense that the right side stones are basically all 100% alive anyway. So in that sense, the direction should be more like here. Yeah. So then we got this, and uh, I couldn't actually read it out. <laughs> I don't think I had anything better than what I did got in the game. Also, you could have saved your stones in Sante, I think. Oh really? Oh, okay. Let's see that soon. Uh, give me a finicky in the Sante. Um, so first we have this one here, right? T5 later. <laughs> so white is just living inside, black is playing a splitting attack. This was probably a mistake. I think it's the other connection. I expected that. I, I did think my shape was already messed up. Yeah, yeah because the cutting point exists. I kind, um, of, I kind of thought that uh, I need to connect anyway. Okay, if I connect this one, it's a bit better for the end game on the upper side, because uh, this one, if nothing else, then at least a uh, black descent is very big, right? Follow ups. Yeah. But I didn't realize that later in the game, when you play the turn at G uh, fourteen, there's actually big trouble. We'll see that in a moment. So I run out. You started this one. So is S six T six? Is this the right move? I don't know. I thought there would still be something similar to the game. It kind I of feels like a good cool. enough result, I think, because I don't think I can block. Um, Do you need to throw in first? I, I, I die if I block. But it, I think I almost die whatever happens, to be honest. Um, this is code, but it's terrible code for me. Yeah, yeah, this coin cannot fight. Inside. It's not even good. It's just yeah. Um. So unless there's anything better, most likely this was the... There could be something in the corner, but... No. No. Throwing can be played, doesn't change anything. Huh. That was weird, eh? I guess I can, all I can do is throw in and try to capture the, the stones. If he dares connect, then it's similar. Probably. All right, so actually I do need to connect. So... Can you block? Capturing races are difficult. How do you do this? I have to face T7 or something. Um... But T7 also actualizes your own that problem, so... It's the same shape like this, huh? It's the same shape, no. And if I play this one, it's yeah, still so a kind of a code. Okay, okay. Oh, no, you don't win, right. No, you do win that, huh? No, you don't. I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I? No, you don't. <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, capturing raises are hard. <laughs> huh. Try to do this in 30 seconds. Yeah. So there I was we thinking, go. at this point, you could just play C4. Instead of connecting, if you want it. But this one is still a core, right? Yeah, but you could give up on saving the stones. I, I don't know. It's it could make sense, wasn't that yeah. favorable for you anyway. I mean, the game was really... But this way, it's much heavier for me. As in, I've already lost my high space, so... High space for the A group yeah. as well, right? And also the... Yeah. Could be a... B peep or could be a C honey. Yeah. So anyway, basically on the right side, white has to play D, and then it's direct co. And if yeah. black plays 
E. No, uh, it's, e. It's, still, it's still a core, huh? Because black, black can play F. But it's not a very good pet E. So it's, uh, maybe it's a kind of a two-step core in that case, or <laughs> one move approach core both ways. Yeah. Ah, so it's one of those, it's, it's one of those shapes. Uh, do you know the... Um, well, it's interesting, so I'll just mess up a little bit. Uh, there's this kind of... Uh, mm, it's like this, right? And like this. And oh, uh, what happens oh, if white yeah. goes for this one? <laughs> Neither side can play and start the gun. So what did you say? This is a bit different though, isn't it? Neither side wants to add a move. Yeah. Either side can... Hmm? Neither side wants to add a move. Yeah, exactly. Neither side wants to add a move here. So basically, uh, if white wants to start the core directly, he can do like this, right? But then black captures first, and if white dies, it's terrible. Okay. Black could play the same move, but then it's kind of vice versa. So white captures first, and just one move, it's over. Uh, if you want to be a bit smarter, as white, you want to play here. But uh, then it's still a call. But white takes first, but it's a call. Uh, yeah, it does as well. Whereas if it's a uh, black to play first here, black goes down, and white can still start a call. So another thing is yeah. that uh, if black wins this call, then the stone at A is going to be totally worthless, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a black passed once, right? And if white played this one, black started the call, and white finally won it, then white has played one extra stone at A, right? So yeah. e either side who starts the call fight just makes a direct loss for it. So nobody wants to play there. But it's still very big. It's still very so, big, but uh, you lo absolutely speaking, you lose points if you try to play there. It's very mind-boggling. Yeah. So most likely the shape here is actually the same. Whoever plays first... Well, there's a call fight at the T7. I don't think so. I don't think so, because here there's only one way to... Yeah, so black can fight that one, so it's a bit better for black in that case. But black does need two moves for it. Yeah, but it's worse for white. It's worse for white. And the other one. <laughs> I'll need to analyze that one later. In the game, I kind of just thought that the, both the groups are alive. I Maybe white also a little bit, but uh, it's kind of like sicky for the time being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. F15, that was the thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Well, the right side was also big. I didn't understand why you played F15. Was like... That... Uh, Let's say, for example, here, what does white do? Because I think this is center. Can you push at E15? E15, yeah, so black will block. It will change it a little bit. Right, take center. Take center, so let's say white fixes this one. So, placement. So white has to block it, right? Mm, there might be okay. something else, but I will just go directly for this. Pretty heavy go. The go is also pretty scary for black right now. Black would have to create some yeah. threats for it. But uh, if white loses it, then the whole group is dead immediately. And I don't think that's the only problem, because it feels like... Uh, it might be... Something like this is no problem, huh? But even just the weight of the core is really big, I thought. Hmm, but I see, so... Hmm. So then it actually does make sense for Black not to play it. I would be scared, though. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. So in that case, we can say that it's kind of fair, but... At least White got to make the good shape here now, so... Game got simple yeah, again. Very good shape. I was worried about this, but I didn't see any way for me to, to defend against it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because you thought that uh, F15 wasn't big enough, I see. This one linked up the center. Okay, then we get to the main point of the game, I guess. Do I have to play M... Do I have to play game to try M... Uh, M13 instead? M13? So, so play M14 and then... Ah, directly. I see. I see. So you want to get the liberties? Problems I had in the game. Uh, in this case, I all oh, right. You can play it that way. Mm. I thought that your move was an overplay, but I was also <sighs> looking into this area here, but I didn't have the time to read it out. I guess if it happened right now, you will just go ahead and uh, cut through, right? Probably. Because Q10 is not vital enough. So you will capture that way. What's going on then? At this point I was still misreading Q15 though. I think Q15 is not sentient at all. Yeah, that also makes a difference to the fight. Uh, can we show some... What would be the sample sequence for our watchers? If I play at T13 directly, you can even connect at S15, but it's probably not the best move, I think. Oh no, you can't connect, I'm sorry. No, that doesn't work. Black Q15 is not sent yeah. against white, no. No, wait, it does work. Hmm? Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> No, black Q15 is not sent there. Yeah, black Q15 is not sent there. Yeah, so white S12 well, already it fixed it. Might be. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. <laughs> so, something like, uh, what would it be? Like uh, here? I oh, know, but that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. I guess there's not much else you can try. No. Yeah. 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 I, I thought you were talking if white Q15 is sent there or not. Oh, nice. But uh, right now it doesn't make too much difference. Uh, my main idea in this, uh, in the play around here was actually that uh, I was going to get threats for the B co. I, I was going to let the stones die and take the lower well, right corner instead. I was instead. thinking that I could just connect that R9, even if the cut didn't work. That would be a threat against this, this cut as well as pretty much any. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, for example, if you play this one right now, then I start the co and you need to capture, right? Yeah. And uh, then I'll use this one as threats for it. Then I have threats in the upper right. Yeah, so what would this Seven be threats. then? I guess I will take this one as well. Q9 is... maybe not good. <laughs> no, it's still S11 or something. That one is center, right? Uh, this one is mine. Uh, here. And I still have two threats. Point, not, point, point losing threats. Actually, are they even point losing? Hmm? Yeah, maybe it doesn't even lose, lose points if I play T14. Uh, I'm going to connect T15, right? It's a little bit better. Yeah. But white also has to pay something soon. Is this this here? You haven't. Oh, I don't know. Something in the center has to be, I think. But... All right, you will start using this area as well. <laughs> uh, this would be a long fight. Yeah. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it wasn't so simple after all. Hmm. But yeah, most likely the liberty was the key thing, right? In the game yeah. it seems like uh, when white got to fill those, then the honey is... Uh, let's just show the readers, so... I didn't see this at all. <laughs> white's dream sequence, right? I saw this, but I didn't see what happened afterwards. Yeah, it's kind of a... because it's a long way, around, long way off. Mm. Yeah, so I think mm. this one has to be here. I think you missed then, this one. Then, yeah, I, I was thinking about it, but I just... Uh, I don't have enough time. <laughs> yeah, we're both in Biomi at this point. I was still just thinking that I can die because I have a coin in the lower right corner, but... Uh, <laughs> hmm. On this scale? Hmm. Yeah, this is getting pretty big. I paid the black M18 already, so it's kind of difficult. What do I do here? Uh... 
even if I play this one, that's still not fixing anything. And if I just connect the black fixes here and the white, I mean, the black corner a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is not too promising for white, right? No. There's no direct way out. So white has to play something first in the center. But like, even if we try for a squeeze or anything, it still doesn't change it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, cut immediately looks nice, and almost seems like white has a brilliant move, but no. <laughs> yeah, uh... What does white do here? I, I think I'm forced to, actually. I have no choice but to go to the core on the right side and just sacrifice it. Yeah. Yeah, so black had a very good chance here. Good black, Sorry? Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to be good enough. So, I guess this was the best white could get. Just a normal endgame. And uh, then it's not such a big deal anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh. But it's still... Uh, well, there's probably no need to exchange it yet. Yeah, so just do this and this, and then keep on with a normal game. I guess uh, just fight the call. How would the threats go this time? This is losing a lot of threats. Ah, oh, but it's also super big. Mm. This one is also kind of interesting. <laughs> Mm, what it? it kind of feels like you will finish the call. Uh, oh gosh, that's going to change the situation on the top completely though, so that doesn't look good for me. Ah, but wait, it's... All right, right, so white can escape like this at least. Does it? Does it? Maybe it doesn't. It might, because this time if you connect out, then white cuts here, and what's... Oh, the corner is alive. Is it's it? not alive, is it? Is it alive? Is it? it is alive. P. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. As we can easily see. Yeah. Oh. Totally alive. Hmm. Wait, but there's still a coin in the centre. Coin. Ah, oh, this one, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> The story never ends, huh? Oh, but is it? Because maybe you can make an eye inside. <laughs> well, we wouldn't short your liberty is that yet. Um... So maybe it doesn't. Maybe you don't have enough liberties anyway. No, you, you should probably do have enough liberties if you don't play the sequence. If you, if you extend that P18, for example. Uh, why could I have to play it at this point, I guess, but. Uh... Just by what? Uh, sorry. But you didn't. You didn't need black to play P eighteen. Sorry. A P eighteen. Oh, 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 I see. I see. At this point, so, yeah. Yeah. And That's one then thing. this could be something. Yeah. <laughs> then it's a cold fight again. You're right. Yeah. Hmm. No conclusion. <laughs> I probably have to answer that somehow. I guess so. Yes. Uh, Something like uh, this. What would it be then? P eleven. P eleven. Just fix it. Well, then no. Then it's so heavy. The coin is so heavy for me now because. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually is. I, I would rather just uh, take it and uh, try not to die because you got the profit on the right side already. Right. So when you play O fifteen, I can play P fourteen. And then that depends my classic bombs. Or something like that. Oh, yeah, I see. Well, that's a good one, actually. And then... Seems to be fine. Then... It's still totally different. And possibly you don't even need to really fight here. Oh. Well, I guess you can play actively. Yeah, this would be... Think. Yeah, this seems like White is in trouble, you're right. Can't go this far. Okay, but let's get back on track, we're getting a bit of overtime already. 
Yeah, so in the game you had that one really nice moment in the late game. Yeah, I was considering resigning, but oh, I didn't need to just yet. Oh. Yeah, we had some uh, extra time, I was so... I was not happy when you played this move, because I was thinking there, there was something going on at the top, possibly. Yeah, exactly. I was afraid you would be doing something like... <laughs> I, I don't know if it's this one or this one, but because technically Black can think of starting these kinds of codes, right? But of course, yeah. if you just play J19, I will just defend it. Yes, which means that you need to try a little bit harder. Most likely. At least it's not all white territory. So, in the game when you played that one, I just thought that, okay, let's fix it. That's safer. I don't think it would die anyway, but Black had a chance to try complications there. But you managed anyway. Yeah, so this is looking for opportunities over here. Yeah, here it comes. So I just had to connect her. <laughs> well, you could have backed up later as well by connecting rather than blocking. Ah, yeah, like uh, around here, for example. Yeah. But I was just thinking yeah. that at this Why? point, uh, I'm supposed to play the strongest anyway because it's a teaching game. Eh? I mean, have to show. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, give a good show for the people as well. And then we get that one, huh? Yeah, so time moves. I need to make life on, with my group first, before the code. Mm -hmm. then... Ah, so that's why you played B12. You <laughs> prepared for it, basically. Yeah. I was totally getting played here. I was just lucky that the corner could live, anyway. If yeah, there was no I way to make guys in the corner. I could have just take the, uh, finish the code. I, I was misreading that your corner was alive. Ah, uh, yeah. Like that, and I guess uh, yeah, it's changed. No. How is this? How is the game, anyhow? If I just... Ah, okay. uh, in this one. Uh, yeah. It's a lot it closer than it used to be, but I thought white still had more. Mm. Let me see. Because the main problem is that white is going to get to play here in the center now. It's the last big yeah. area. And then I play K3 and N2 ish. Yeah, that's yeah. yours and. Uh, I guess this is also a nice free one. Uh, that's going to be sent. Ah, uh, right, there's the call situation on the right side as well. Yeah, but. And I don't really have. Well, I have threats sort of with those three stones, but not many. I think black actually has more threats for it. You have the upper left corner, you have the three stones, you have the right side. So. Let's just say that white plays two normal big moves. Uh, here, here, let black connect and maybe take this. Now we can kind of get a rudimentary counting going on. Yeah, uh, black is 60 or so. Yeah, 60 with the captures. I get 65 for white. So, th there's no commit, so white is a little bit ahead. Also, black has center, so it's still a little bit closer. But uh, you could basically play the end game like this and still look for opportunities. Like, uh, one interesting thing is this co fight over here, for example. Maybe this one first. I don't think I can start the code yet. Because I only move at N3. But... Oh, something like uh, this might happen, you see? Mm. Well, or, or you just push at N3. Mm. Very simply. Yeah, um, I guess so. Yeah, so, okay, fix that one. And uh, if White is confident, White will answer here. <laughs> But I guess uh, I would play more actively. There's also an emergency eye over here, so that helps a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so basically in the end it just means the... Well, it's kind of natural. The capture in the center is a bit too big. So that was the key fighting point with the liberty here. Yeah. 
Do you have anything else on mind? I think we saw the main points here. What did you think about the game? Mm. They left on the right side so easily. Maybe I shouldn't have played P14. Yeah, somewhere around here is uh, one of the interesting key points anyway. R13 th is kind of a strange move, right? Like uh, humans never used to play it before. Just mm -hmm. recently I see it in the AI games all the time. I train Sun Rensei from time to time. I play Sun Rensei and I see what the opponent is doing, the AI. And it will just play this kind of invasion and go inside. Sun Rensei disappears. Yeah. So that's how it comes up. Usually, usually it does something like this immediately. Just start a call fight. Mm. Yeah, that was one interesting. Uh, does the audience have any question? I didn't actually see the... Let me see the browser if you have comments over there. Oh, I closed it. Well, if somebody has questions, can you... Okay, here we have Sandman. You can write on KGS. Do you like S14 instead of S7? S14? Oh, I see. So this idea is kind of like uh, <laughs> double O game, uh huh? Actually, might defend the corner. You would Somehow. play like this. S16. Yeah, maybe that's better. That's an interesting uh -huh. idea. Mm. Let me run the AI right. inside my head. I want to play this side, but then this will happen. This and this. Um, ah, crap. But uh, R14 is usually the good shape here, but now it lives easily. This, this kind of thing we want to play, but this white is also alive, right? Yeah, it's alive yeah. easily. Mm. Can we go one further? It seems like bad shape. <laughs> no way, this will never work out. <laughs> will it? Oh no, impossible, impossible. It's just uh, broken. I'm guessing this one came from the AI because I never even thought about this. No, I think R15 is probably done. Yeah, I guess uh, we go for the corner. Something on the right side then. Mm. Anybody else on KGS? If we don't get any, get any follow-up questions, we'll be quitting here in a moment. Last chance. I'm hearing some crickets. Also, literally, because it's Japan over here, night time. Mm. Sound of silence. Okay, it seems like this will be it here in that case. So thanks for everybody for watching and for Daniel for playing the game and for London Go Center for sponsoring the whole project, of course. And thank you. Thank you. And if we are lucky, we will have uh, more opportunities like this in the future. So stay tuned.